Hello everyone, I'm Jin, the TCM practitioner and the instructor in Victoria, BC, Canada. Here is my online class for ENT and eye problems for TCM practitioner and the acupuncturist. The book we use I put below here. I hope I can help the students to study and review for the class. Let's start. So suddenly deafness means losing the hearing. Yeah, losing the hearing. And it's pretty commonly happens in the middle aging and the female. It's not uh, like a clear reason for it, but uh, like a uh, lot, of, lot of female in the middle aging is pretty easily got a suddenly deafness. And uh, mostly subtly deafness happens in one side of the ear. Reason don't know yet. Not clear. Yeah, reason not clear. The mainly symptom people suddenly losing hearing. Then let's talk about TCM. So TCM, we always have some reason. <laughs> so we say external passengers and maybe internal emotions, yeah, internal kind of interest. So we say or if it's problem, always combination, external reason and internal reason. And some Stagnation happens and blocking the orifice. So that's the mainly way thinking about people got suddenly deafness, the etiology reason. So clinical symptom, we say it mainly suddenly on site, yes, suddenly on site. And the deafness, losing the hearing. And get more severe. Get more severe in 24 hours. Yeah, just one day, suddenly happens. That's the key symptom. Yeah, key symptom. Other symptom. Yeah, other symptom. Tinnitus. Yeah, tonight is usually low pitch. Yeah, usually low pitch. And the vertical. And the vertical. So we're just talking about the manual syndrome. Look like we have all the symptoms. Pretty similar. Yeah, pretty similar. Vertical, diabetes, tinnitus. So how we can make a diagnosis? Let's try to think about which one is most severe. Yeah, which one is most severe? So patient is most severe for a vertigo. Certainly we may make a diagnosis for a manners disease. If patient most severe. For deafness, suddenly losing the hearing, then we go to suddenly deafness. So we need to ask a patient, like which one, which symptom is most severe. So basically, ear problem. We say ear problem. We have four mainly symptoms. Deafness, vertigo. Tinnitus under the discharging. So when we make a diagnosis, we try to find which one is severe. So that's the mainly symptoms they say deafness, but still possible have tinnitus and the vertigo, and still feels dizziness feeling in the ear. 
so that's basically and it basically still happens in the inner ear yeah still happens in the inner ear nothing happens in the outer ear when we check in outer ear uh, even middle ear there nothing wrong yeah, nothing wrong so this kind of deafness, we say that belong to nervous deafness. But this diagnosis must use special kind of machine or meter to go to check. Then we can make a diagnosis. So nervous deafness including two parts why is the inner ear problem yeah why is the inner ear problem another part is cranial nervous yeah cranial nervous number eight go to the ear go to the inner ear the cranial nervous number eight directly go to the inner ear and we have special cells in there so damage in the inner ear and in the cranial nervous number eight, that's caused the deafness. We, we, if we say nervous deafness. Let's go to the pattern. First the pattern, we still talking about green heat, green heat pattern. So wind heat pattern, so hyper, we say that's the medical word for law, law hearing, yeah, law hearing suddenly happens. And then tinnitus, then tinnitus is low pitch, like some wind inside. Yeah, wind blowing inside. So that's uh, generally say the local symptom. Yeah, local symptom. Or if it's problem, we always say the symptoms separate with the local symptom and the partis symptom. So partis symptom, the same with the common cold in the heat. So we say, are vision to cold with fever same time, that's external pattern. And then headache, nose discharging, nose blocking, possible high cough, yeah, possible high cough. From this beginning, maybe just without cough. And uh, the tongue maybe let it be right on the tip air, but the first two days maybe just not changing. But the floating rapid pulse. So that's EPI wind heat. So treatment pencil, this first means and the clear heat. Yeah. It, when we're talking about dispersing the lung here, means EPI problem, external passengers, the first attacking is for the lung. And the improved hearing, because that's a serious problem. So wind heat type, yeah, wind heat type, because the hearing loss is treatable yeah, and easily to treat, yeah, easily to treat. And a very good result coming from acupuncture treatment. Uh, so the points, yeah, points, we still do the same thing. Local points, distal points, you can add more, yeah, you can add more. And also LI4, you still can think about false distal points and the pattern points. So pattern points here, we're working for wind heat. 
first swimming pool. So certainly gallbladder 20 is mean point and do 14 clear both internal heat and external heat. Uh, so we still can use ear points. So that's uh, for this pattern, this pattern. The next pattern we talking about the mainly internal feet, liver fair, liver fair pattern. So liver fair part is mainly internal heat, yeah, mainly internal heat. And the liver fair is pretty easily rising up. So the symptoms locally, we still say onside suddenly, yeah, onside suddenly. Especially after big emotions, big angry, big emotions. That's for this pattern, yeah, this pattern. And uh, suddenly losing the hearing. So that means the hearing degrade. And at the same time, could be have some distension feeling or feelings in the ear and with tinnitus. Yeah, with tinnitus and the possible with dizziness, yeah, possible with dizziness. So that's, uh, I think we can separate it here even for local symptoms, yeah, for local symptoms. Other symptoms, relationship with liver fear. Yeah. So we're talking about the emotion already, yeah, emotion already. And the patient can got red eyes, yeah, red eyes, dizziness, even headache, and the right tongue, yellow tongue coating, and a very rapid pulse, and some other liver heat symptoms, like a bitter taste in the mouth, and the possible constipation. Possible dark yellow, scanty kind of urine. So that's a heat symptom. So treatment pencil, treatment pencil. So clear heat from the liver and the pretty fair, that's the same thing. And the moving tea open the orifice. So that's uh, the use of this one. Treatment, yeah, treatment. Local points, these two points we use the same. Certainly you can add more, yeah, certainly you can add more. And the, the points specially clear heat, yeah, specially clear heat. So clear heat from the liver and the gallbladder. And certainly you can add four gates there, like a moving tea, yeah, like a moving tea. So that's uh, for this pattern, for this pattern, and the plus year points. And you also can bleed it, yeah. You can bleed it like a Jing Yao point of the liver and the gallbladder. So that's the very clear, excessive heat way. So that's for liver heat of fair pattern. <clears throat> Then we go to the pattern flame heat. Yeah, flame heat. So that means the heat combination with the flame. So usually the symptoms 
pretty similar like a fair pattern, heat pattern. So like a local, uh, local, view suddenly decreased the period, suddenly decreased the period. And uh, with tinnitus, with some blocking sensation inside of ear. So that's uh, we say local, we say local. And then we talking about like a pattern symptom, pattern symptom. Chest air frowning and nausea. That's mainly coming from blood blocking. And the yellow tongue coating, right tongue. Yeah. yeah, right tongue, yellow tongue coating, and the greasy tongue coating there coming from heat blood. Heat blood. Leafy pulse coming from flam, rapid pulse coming from heat. So that's a generalized symptom here. Yeah, generalized symptom here. And still possible have highly kind of sensation. Yeah. So that's a kind of flam heat blocking in there. And our treatment principle. Purging, fair, and the result flame or clear heat, result flame, the same thing. And the regular chi remove obstruction of, of the orifice. Or you can say open the orifice, do the same. And the points, yeah, the points, <coughs> local points. Local points and the distal points and the clear heat, yeah, remove dampness for the points, yeah. Clear heat, remove dampness. So, LI 11 is a good point to clear internal heat. And the stream nine, some of the is good points, remove dampness. Yeah. And then we still can use gallbladder 34 here, both for distal points and also can help remove some like dampness blocking the channels <clears throat> and the heat blocking channels. And certainly we still can use the airpoint. So that's for this pattern. And the next pattern, yeah, next pattern, blood stasis. Blood stasis pattern generally say is a little bit more severe compared with the other patterns. And the blood stasis kind of pattern let it be easy, uh, difficult to treat even. So tea stagnation, yeah, tea stagnation can cause the blood stasis, like a tea couldn't push in the blood circulation, and then cause the blood stasis. <clears throat> so still suddenly on site, still started outside and the decrease the hearing and with tinnitus. The side is tinnitus usually uh, relationship with low pitch kind of tinnitus. And the deputy is found by the machine. Yeah. So that's basically local symptoms. Local symptoms. So we, <clears throat> when we're talking about this is blood stasis pattern, basically we find the tongue 
pupil tongue. The pupil tongue is the blood stasis kind of tongue. And I'm smoothly pulse, the same meaning with the choppy pulse. So that's basically blood stasis signs for this orifice problem. Certainly, patient may be have other symptoms for blood stasis, like some part of the body is, is kind of sharp pain in there and a fixed pain in there. And maybe people with painful periods and clots inside. So that kind of blood stasis symptom and the size. So that's uh, they say generally say this part they come in with blood stasis and our treatment pencil, we say moving tea, moving blood. And the result of blood stasis and the open the orifice. So, our treatment principle or points local points, pistol points, and the moving T, moving blood. So that's very much which with our treatment pencil. So moving T local points plus pistol points and the moving T moving blood. And still can use ear points. 